Hey guys, this is a mechanic task guide for import for this task. You have to find an RFID as well as a VPX in raid and then hand both items over to mechanic. So both of these items can be found on labs, but since that map is not feasible for majority of the player base, I figured I would show you guys some alternative maps so that you can also find a VPX and an RFID reader for your task. For the RFID readers, mechanic does provide you with one for completing the task farming part three. So hopefully you held onto it and still have it to hand it in. And if so, then you can just use the timestamp below to skip ahead to the VPX part of this task guide. But if you did sell it either because you didn't know or you forgot that you would need it for this task, then the best location in my experience is to be going to interchange. And I do have a map of interchange on the screen right Right now and the stores that do have a chance to spawn the rfid readers or the vpx's and the order that i'm going to be showing you guys the stores in is firstly tech light on the second floor by ollie and then texo rasmussen german and then the other two spots that it can also spawn in this map is at the idea storage room as well as the bookcase that's in the power station and now i will show you guys the actual route of these stores so my pmc is starting just outside of ollie and we are going to turn around to our right and then head up these escalators to the top floor where directly in front of you will be tech light Inside of this store, then you will have the potential spawns on this immediate desk on your left as you enter, as well as on any of these different shelves throughout the store. I tend to work my way through the store one way and then come back on the other side, checking all the different shelves. And then after we're done checking all the shelves here, then we are going to go back down the escalator to go down to the Texo store, which is at the bottom of the escalator on your immediate left. Once you go into Texo, then I always do check this dishwasher that is beside the shelves on the far right of the store. This is a high tech spawn location. And then after that, I go through checking all the different shelves throughout the store and also the ones at the back store wall. I have actually found an RFID on one of these shelves in the middle of the store this wipe. So there is definitely a chance that it can spawn here, even though it doesn't say it on the wiki. After we're finished looting this store, then we will go out the door and then take a left. And then on your right hand side, then you will see the Rasmussen store. This is another tech store and probably your best chance to find either a VPX or an RFID on the map. I have found multiple RFIDs and VPXs in this store, usually on the far left shelf up against the wall, but I have also found them on top of the first display table as you walk past coming into the store as well. There is also a little desk that's at the very end of this store on the far back right corner. And on this little desk, I have found a GPU here. So there is also a high tech loot spawn there. After looting Rast, then I will make my way out into the center core past the hole in the floor and then down past Brutal and Kibba and then directly across from this Manta store is where we will be going to a store called German. This is another tech store and I have found RFID readers on the far right shelf on the wall here, but I have also found GPUs on the little display tables that are in the center of the store as well. After we finish here in German, then I am going to cut and bring you guys over to Idea at the far side by the computer and storage room. All right, so I'm over here at ID at the top of the escalators. If I turn directly around, then this is where the GPU room or the storage room is located. This is a well-known area for GPU and other high-tech items, and it is also one of the higher trafficked areas on the map, so just be aware of that. In this back storage area on the shelves, you can have high-tier tech loot spawns, especially GPUs, but I have also found an RFID here. So just be aware to check everywhere throughout both sides of this room on all of the shelves. And then the last possible spawn that I know of on this map is going to be inside of the power station. So I'm outside the power station and then this is where ID is. So we are just going to turn to the right and then go into the power station. We're going to go past the switch that turns on the power back to the mall. And then inside of this back room, there is a shelf that's on your immediate right. And that shelf is the one that can spawn any high tech loot in the game. And this is going to be the last area that you can check. You are also right beside the car extract location. So if it is there for you, then you can just take that and then head out and then reset and come back and search again if you were unsuccessful. Or if it's not there and if you don't have a backpack, then the no backpack extract is just down the street also. Now, if you just have to find a VPX, it can be found at any rare tech loot spawn. But overall, the best location in my experience is going to be on Lighthouse. And I will show you guys the route that I use where I have gotten at least 10 of them this wipe already. The route that I'm going to show you guys will be as though we are spawning by the downed helicopter or the southern road extract and moving towards the water treatment plant area of the map. You guys can obviously adjust or reverse this route based on your own spawn and you will also notice that I didn't include any of the water treatment plant spawns and that's because the goal for this route was for it to be viable for all players regardless of skill level so that you don't have to clear all of the rogues in order to do this and also so that it's relatively quick so that you can run it a few times a night even if you're a casual player and don't have too long to play. So I'll let you guys know up front that to maximize this route near chances of actually finding the tech loot that you're going to need four keys for lighthouse the keys are the hillside house key the marin car trunk key the usec first safe key and then the usec second safe key these keys are all absolutely optional and honestly not very expensive you can get all four of the keys for usually less than 50k a piece so less than 200k total and honestly if you have one good run you'll definitely make your money back and each of the keys have 40 uses so in those 40 uses you will absolutely make a ton of money however if you do decide not to pick up 
up these keys, you will still have a good chance of finding the items you need, but just ignore the parts of the video where I am talking about these four specific areas. So we're here on Lighthouse by the Down Helicopter, which is just down the road from the Brown Chalet. And the first spawn that I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be here on the chair at the top of this mountain. Once you check this spawn, then you can head up the road to the Brown Chalet, which is going to have the most potential spawns and the best chance for you to actually find the items that you're looking for. However, this area is going to be the riskiest that you will go to just because it is a hotspot for PMCs and player scavs due to the amount of loot that is inside of this small area, as well as a couple tasks that are located here. So once you go through the gate, you can turn right and then check inside this medical building. There is a gold spawn on the chair on the right hand side underneath of the book, as well as a safe that's in the back left corner. I'm not sure if tech items can actually spawn on the chair, but it's worth a quick look just in case. After that, you're going to head across to the garage area of the Brown Chalet, and you will have five spawns to check inside of here. The first two are going to be on the left desk and the left tool cabinet, and then the next one is going to be behind the Jeep on the ground. The next one is going to be next to the Jeep on the tool cabinet there, and then the last one is going to be in front of the Jeep on the ground again. After that, you're going to go in through the door to the mudroom slash laundry room, and then on the shelves on your right-hand side, there are going to be multiple spawns on each of the lower two shelves, so make sure that you check all four of those areas because people definitely miss these spawns all the time. After that, go through to the main area to the large wooden table. You will have a spawn that's on the close right corner as well as one on the chair that's in front of the laptop, and then after that, we are going to head upstairs to the billiard room where there is several spawns up and around here in this small area. There's going to be one on the TV console on the bottom bottom shelf as well as all of the different stands all around the outer walls of the room, the beanbag chairs on top of the boxes as well as on top of the actual pool table. After you finish checking here we will go back down to the main floor and then down one additional flight of stairs to the bedroom that's across from the theater and on the nightstand on the right hand side there is a golden tech spawn there. After checking there I do go down the stairs to the gym and sauna area and then go to the body that's in the hot tub. There is a rare spawn that's on the shoulder of the body that's inside of the tub. After that, I go out to the deck and then turn to the left and go to the wooden pallets that are stacked oddly there. Once you get to those, then turn immediately left and then you're gonna see a broken box that's in this little hidden spot. Inside of that box is another rare spawn. And as you can see, I actually got a wireless transmitter in this raid. And it is also worth noting that on Lighthouse, any broken boxes that you see like this do have a chance to have a gold or tech spawn in them, so they're definitely worth checking. After this, we will go back up past the sauna area and up the stairs one time to the set of wooden crates on the left-hand side just off the staircase. And there you have two rare spawns, one on top of the left crate, and then the other is on the ground in between of the two crates. And this is the final spawn that I personally check at this brown chalet. Now, after checking here at this point, when you're doing these runs, you will have three options. You can either keep following the path that I'm going to show you guys or if you did find one of the items that you really need for a task you can always turn around and head to the southern road extract or if you have a red rebel and a paracord then you can always take the mountain pass extract which is just over here on the left hand side and is not going to have as much of a risk as going past the blue resort and into the village area to try and get to the path to shoreline extract this wipe I have definitely been extract camped at the path to shoreline so I have been more cautious in terms of going there just due to the amount of bushes as well as the amount of scavs that are over there and I just figured that I would throw in the paracord option since I haven't seen any other guides mentioned that do give you guys that option and bring that to light in case you didn't know. So once you continue down to the blue resort just be aware that this is a potential spawn for the goons so if you start getting shot by a bunch of sustained unsuppressed fire and then you start getting some voice lines and being pushed very aggressively then it is probably them so just be aware of that. But if they're not there, then you can check inside the motorcycle garage on the shelves and then also on the floor by the ladder in the corner. There is a rare spawn there. And then you can continue over on the other end of the building to the garage with the ATVs in it. And then you want to check on the ground next to the toolbox and also on the tool cabinet for tech loot and spawns that are there. After that, I always check inside of the big box on the corner on the left hand side as I'm leaving this garage. And then I move over to the actual blue resort building. And then I always check this broken box on the way because remember, any box like this has a chance to have a rare spawn inside of it. Once I go into the resort, if you brought your USEC first and second safe keys, then you can check the two locked safes upstairs since they both have a rare loot spawn chance. So there's one at the top of the stairs on the left and also on the right. These safes are definitely hit and miss. Most of the time when I do open them up, they are completely empty. However, there has been two different raids where I did open them up and ended up getting a vertex that I could give to one of my buddies. So if you are in the area and it's safe to do so, then it can definitely be worth looting. And after we check both of those safes, we will head out of the building over towards the pizza shack to look on the two chairs that are located in here at the table, as they both have rare loot spawn chances. After this area, what I will typically do is to cross over the main road to check the Marin car. This is optional, of course, depending on if you have the key, and also if you want to take the added risk of crossing over the road. If you do, I recommend using pain meds before crossing over just in case, and also crossing in between the bus and the truck, just so that you are far enough away that you don't risk triggering the rogues to try and shoot you. 
The Marin car is another area that can be totally hit or miss. Sometimes you'll open it up and it will be completely empty and others like in my raid here, you'll end up opening it and getting a VPX and a wireless transmitter. So basically if I can safely make my way over to it by clearing the pride rock as well as making sure that I pay meds on board, I do typically try to get over there and open it just in case. And also another tip is that if your Marin cart is empty after you unlock and open it, make sure to check underneath the trunk of the car because sometimes the items can actually phase through the vehicle and they're going to be sitting on the pavement underneath of it. After checking the Marin cart, you are going to cross back over and head towards the village. The first building that we are going to check is the apartment building right next to the convenience store. Once you go in through the door, stay on the first floor and then take a left and then go all the way down to the end. In that room, there will be a box in the far right hand corner that has a rare tech spawn chance. There's also a couple of spawns upstairs on the same side of the building, one on the TV console shelves, as well as one in a different room on top of the desk. And after you've finished in here, then we are going to head up to the hillside house as long as you do have that key. And then we will have four spawns to check inside of here. One of them is going to be underneath of the broken TV by the books under that desk. One's going to be underneath the bed. The other is going to be inside of the kitchen area. And then you want to make sure that you check on top of the chair underneath the cloth as well as inside of the sink in this room on the left hand side. The hillside house hasn't really been giving me much in terms of military tech loot so far this wipe however when I have been lucky enough to have some valuable spawn in there it's mostly been bitcoins and cheap e-coins which is great however that isn't really going to help me so much with my task but with that being said if you do have the key I would definitely recommend stopping by and checking out this one building just because you never know what could spawn in there. After you finish checking here we are going to go across the street to the large brick building and I did forget to show or to point out in this gameplay that there is actually a spawn underneath the television on the immediate right as soon as you enter into this building when you go and just make sure that you have a look at the tv console or desk that is on your right hand side as soon as you enter in and then you're going to make your way upstairs to the actual computer room the one with the red tower in it and then inside of this one room there are three spawns there's going to be one on the box on your left hand side there's going to be one on the carpet next to the actual towel or cloth that's on the floor and then there's also going to be another one on the front left corner of the desk after this check, there is two other rooms that are going to be in there. One of them definitely has a valuable spawn on the desk, and I think that the other room basically doesn't have very much in it, but I always check it just in case. After you loot in here, then you can definitely go and extract at the path to shoreline, but I will typically check two more places before I go and get out and reset. And then the first one that I will bring you guys over to is actually going to be the crashed van. And that is just a little bit closer to the water treatment plant, just past the cabins area where you had to go in order to get the Jaeger task, the hermit note. So I'm going to show you guys a more discreet way to get to the crashed van, and that's going to be down these stairs and then across this wooden log bridge. This will avoid any potential PMCs that are camping at the heavy machinery, just staring down the end of the bridge road. The only problem here is that there's usually three to five scavs in this cabin area near the hermit note but if you can get through this area then the van is literally just going to be on the other side of these cabins so once you get to the van you can look and check around any of these green crates that are going to be in and around this crashed van but do not forget to look inside of the crate that's in the back of the half submerged van that is where the tech loot is likely going to be after this, I typically backtrack back towards the village and then I hit the building that's on my left on the way out just to check on top of the bed for a valuable spawn as well as in the nightstand for an intel folder. And then you also have a sink in the other room, which is where you can check for another valuable spawn. This final building that I'm going to show you guys, I really haven't gotten any military tech loot spawns from it. So if you guys do want to bypass it completely, then I totally understand that. And then you can just continue on to the extract. So after I finish clearing out this building, then I do head around the back in order to leave this area just so that I'm not running down the road in the open on my way to path the shoreline just to give myself less of a chance of being shot in the back. And then basically you can just go and rinse and repeat this route to give yourself a pretty good chance of getting this military tech loot. It is a relatively quick and efficient way to do this run because the keys are not very expensive anymore, at least not like they were last wipe, and you can make a ton of money doing this route and the risk is relatively low, especially if you get a good spawn, but I mean obviously your risk will increase based upon your spawn and then how many PMCs that you can encounter. And obviously you will also have to potentially adjust your route based upon the spawns that you get. Now, this is just the route that I use just because it's low risk and because it is quick. There are several spawns in around the water treatment plant, but that would definitely extend your raid times as well as put you at a much greater risk of dying due to the PMCs, rogues, and then player scavs all rushing to this one area. But if you guys do want me to make an extended version of this guide to include the water treatment plant spawns, then let me know. But in terms of what is the actual best opportunity to find the tech items and to get 
get out safely and also in a timely manner, then this route is definitely going to be better and the safer option. Now, I will also give you guys another option just in case you're burnt out on Lighthouse or just keep running into Chad's and dying or your luck isn't going the right way and you can't seem to find the items. Another great map is actually on Streets of Tarkov. And I know that you're probably thinking, oh, it must be behind the marked room or the check 15 room. And while you are right that these items do actually spawn in those two rooms, there is another area of the map where they do spawn and you don't need to spend millions for a key to gain access. You actually don't have to spend any money at all to gain access because this area is wide open all the time and it has a bunch of rare loot and tech spawns and the location is actually up above the apartments of the mail room where you had to go in order to get your you've got mail task next to Pinewood Hotel. So now that we're here on streets, the Pinewood Hotel is right here and then this is where the mail room is where you had to go for the you've got mail task. You're going to end up going through the mail room out to the right hand side because we're going to go and check for two valuable spawns on the way up to this one area of the apartments. Down this hallway here, the second door on your left is an office that has two pigs on the desk and then there's actually a gold spawn there next to them so it is worth checking that on your way. If you keep going down the hallway and then you're going to go through the last door that's on your left, you're going to go up the stairs and on that landing there's going to be valuable tech loot spawns that are all around all of this debris that's on the ground. After you finish checking this area you're going to go up the stairs one more time and take an immediate left and once you open up this door then you will see a dead body on the floor against the door frame so this way you know that you're in the right place. I would recommend looting this dead body because I have actually found a wireless transmitter on him before. After this, you're going to continue down the hallway and then up the collapsed floor ramp and then turn directly around and jump across the break in the floor. Once over here, then you will have rare loot spawn chances on both sides of the hallway, but we will be going through the right side first. So going into the kitchen area, we will be looking on the table as well as on the chairs and counters in the stove and then right next to the stove on the left hand side. And then that's going to be it for in here. So then going into the first room, you will have valuable spawns underneath the book on the table, inside the drawer on the couch, and then also on the far couch cushion. You're also going to have one on the chair that's in the corner next to the book and in the last room on this side then i would check all the chairs as well as on the dresser i'm not sure if there is actually any tech spawns in this room but it definitely doesn't hurt to check then we're going to head across the hallway and we will start with the kitchen area again so check on the washer and then on the ground in the corner right beside it as well as on the cabinets and then on the chair that's actually right side up and then we're going to go into the last room and then that is going to be checking on top of the boxes and shelves in there and again i'm not sure if there's any tech spawns in this room but again it also doesn't hurt to check so hopefully you guys found this guide helpful and it did help you guys to find the items that you need in order to complete your task. This task was definitely one that held me back this wipe, so hopefully I can help you guys to avoid any of the frustration that I endured while trying to find these items. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week, so if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link and if you don't use twitch then i do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description and we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels so there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have as always thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day